they have here some uh, Angora goats or mohair would be the product they produce. Mm -hmm. and, uh, tell us a little bit about mohair and why it's so special and maybe a little bit about the animals that we get mm -hmm. it from. Well, like you say, the, the Angora goat is the goat that uh, produces mohair that we would harvest. Um, we typically, unlike sheep, we shear Angora goats twice a year. Uh, the, the mature does will produce in the neighborhood of three to five pounds of mohair per shearing. We're shearing them every six months uh, or so. The one thing about Angora goats is um, that their, their mohair is the highest value when they're shorn young. So kid hair is what we would call it, or super kid or kid hair um, is the first shearing, second shearing, uh, or sometimes even third shearing. Some of the genetics now have been selected to where it will go for, um, they'll keep kid hair for well into their adult life. So we do lots of stuff with mohair. Uh, fine textiles would be the first thing that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. The uh, traditional mohair sweater, I guess everybody thinks of. I think mohair socks are another real popular mm -hmm. item. Uh, what else do we use mohair for? Some, some cultures make a lot of carpets out of mohair. You know, it's a it's a, uh, a fiber that lasts a really long time. So, you know, a carpet or something like that is gonna get a lot of high use, people trampling on it, stepping on it, rubbing their feet, so something that's, that's uh, high use. Well, they're, uh, they're a little different than your regular meat goats, aren't they? They, yeah. they sure don't have the body mass that a, a meat goat would have. They're, they've been bred, I guess, for all these centuries for that one, mm -hmm. one product. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we would, I guess, still have some place for the kids if, if they didn't make it into the, the mm. mohair. But the main reason we have them is for, the, for uh -huh. the fiber. Yeah. And they are a dual purpose animal, but the fact that the kid hair is so valuable, right. you know, they're not like a meat goat where we, we would sell a 60 pound kid goat right. for high value. When you get, when you have an Angora as a 60 pound kid, you know, we need another three or four months before we can shear it that first shearing. And then we're probably gonna wanna retain it again for another shearing. And so lots of times whenever in a, a larger scale Angora operation, we're not even selling very many kid goats. Is we're right. selling muttons and adult animals once that hair quality declines. And so there's still decent value in that adult, uh, but not the high value right. that you get out of that, that kid. And they tend to not have the reproductive rate uh, that a meat goat would have. Under good management, a meat goat's gonna produce around 175% lamb crop or kid crop, you know, so not every one's going to produce twins, but the majority of them, whereas sheep were closer to 125% kid crop or lamb crop. So uh, meat goats do really well, but an Angora goat is probably pretty similar to some of our wool sheep that, you know, sometimes we might have a 60%, 70% kid crop upwards to the max, maybe a 125% kid crop because They've been selected for that hair for so many years. Uh, and it's, it's quite a bit of hair that's produced by a pretty small animal. So it's a, it's a, it's a drain on their, their, it's a drain on them to produce that mohair.